What's up all you Comic Con loving dudes, Andy Dads, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys a full fresh new look reveal of the brand new McFarlane Toys Raw 10. <laughs> there it is, there's that logo. New action figure line, these are animalistic, cybernetic, war machines, hellbent on destruction, and we got all the crazy new cool figures to look at. There's Raptar, there's Battlesnake, and then there's one of my personal favorite, Frenzy. But the one we're going to take a look at today holds a very special spawn place in my heart. And of course, I'm talking about the one and only cybernetic gorilla, Cygor. And this guy, if you were collecting spawn figures back in the day, reading spawn comics, you're definitely going to know who this guy is. This is, based on the artwork... More or less. And there have been previous McFarlane toys back in the days. Cygor action figure. This one especially being amazing. They had animated. They had a code red. And they had an original one of like the original articulation. But Cygor himself is just a beautiful figure. This looks amazing. Now keep in mind. This is billed more towards a kid's audience, okay? These are going to be great for collectors. I'm going to show you in just a second. He looks great. You can screen grab this. If you want to grab the new bio for Cygor, this is going to be just a fun kid's line at Walmart exclusively. So the overview is in the distant future, the world is ruled by the raw 10 powerful warriors that are part beast, part machine. The last of humans travel the wastelands in fear of the massive robo creatures that stalk the ruins of Earth. But one group of scientists believes some of the raw 10 beasts are more than monsters. And the legends say that a few heroes among the beasts will fight to protect mankind. So there's a whole story behind these creatures. On the bottom of the box, you can have the barcode as well. These will be hitting August 1st in and around Walmart stores. Only $20 price point for the larger figures, which is Cygor. And $10 for the smaller figures, which we will look at in another video. So let's get him open, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Raw 10 Cygor action figure. And while I got you guys here, I just want to say thanks so much for checking out my Comic-Con at Home coverage. Got a lot more action figures, new product reveals, all the news, everything coming from every single company, brand. It's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, give me a like, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you guys all this week on the Comic-Con digital floor. And here's the old cybernetic monkey man out of the packaging. And this thing is huge. It's awesome. I think you're definitely going to dig this. And I especially like that with each figure, it seems to come with this little pullout, almost like a cross-sell comic book kind of thing. But each has their own bio for each of the mechanical animals, like Frenzy, for instance. You get all the goods on him. And then, of course, code name Cygor, you get all that kind of stuff. Power Slam, Monkey Rage, action. Cygor, Raptor, Battlesnake, and this thing unfolds into a really nice-sized poster. So, very cool. I love little pack-ins like that. This thing is gorgeous. Now, I know, first off, everyone's going to say, well, it doesn't move, does it do anything. Yes, we'll get into that in just a second. However, I want you to look at the paint, the detail, the sculpt on this. This is what it's primarily for. And it's primarily aimed at children. That's what the lack of articulation, right? This is for a people that just like to kind of pose them and leave them. So it's perfect for someone like me. But I love the cybernetic details on this guy. It's got a really nice black wash. It's simple. You got the black parts, the mouth has paint, and then you have the silver with the dry brush. But he's got scrapes and fur and his feet are all highly detailed, highly rendered out. That is very cool. Nice wash over the already black plastic. Same thing with the cybernetic monkey leg. That's very cool too. I just love the details. He's very flat-footed. He stands his ground. He's not going anywhere. He's a solid, heavy figure, but he is hollow on the inside. So think of it that way. It's like other Godzilla slash King Kong type action figures from various different companies. But the thing I love the best, the little hidden spawn right there on the back very very cool you got the thrusters you got all his armor cybernetic pieces he just looks like he's screaming he's ready to just pummel spawn so this also is a way to get other spawn figures into a line that's may not be designated but let's go ahead and look at the articulation so the head will rotate it goes all the way around but sometimes you get a little hindered by the actual armor piece right there so just be careful you don't want to scratch anything his arms go up and down. They don't swivel like a ball joint. They just simply go up and down. So yes, 
For those of you that are looking for a really heavily articulated figure, mm, I would just say it may not be for you, but if you like displaying cool stuff, that eh, might be for you. I don't know. Also, his legs. So they go back and forth. He's just 5 POA. That's really basically it. But he's heavy. He's huge. He stands 12 inches tall to the head. And when you put his arms up, 14 inches. So he's a giant, massive, cybernetic gorilla. But this is what I want it for, right? This right here is ideal next to my spawn action figures. And keep in mind, we're going for more cybernetic animals, so you're not going to see a whole bunch of spawn characters. But this, this is a way to kind of slip them in a little bit. Yeah, this is perfect. He's just going to bash spawn right there on the head. It's, I love it. It's perfect for someone like me and how I display. You can put spawn up there with his axe, his sword, whatever weapons they're giving him these days. <laughs> Put them on a stand, they're going to battle with each other. It's like the old two-pack, the old Saigor versus Spawn Famous Covers two-pack. You can recreate it. If you don't have those, you can do it now. And apologies, I don't have my old Spawn Saigor figures to pull out at the moment. I can't get to them, so I will do photos later on for my Instagram. But you know what? I got some other robotic, old-fashioned toys to show off. And Cybernetic Violator, Manga Cyber Violator, we'll say, was always one of my favorites. But this is the money shot right here. All the... The cavalcade of villains for Spawn all put together. Most of them for the most part. I'll have more later on. But the clown, right? This guy goes perfectly with this Saigor because he's so well detailed, so well rendered that he fits in with these old type of McFarlane action figures. I mean, he's even bigger than Overkill. And Overkill was huge for back in the day. Even the new Hasbro Marvel Legends Angela, the most recent one, she fits in perfectly. So if you have a Spawn collection... If you have just a few spawn villains, something like that, you want to do a nice setup, I would definitely recommend this Cygor. Even if it's, you know, just out of the four new animals for this Raw 10 line, definitely grab Cygor. And I'll have looks later on with the other animals as well. But I'm so curious to know what you guys think about this new line. Is it for you? Do you have to get them? Do you have to grab them? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything McFarlane Toys. And thank you again to McFarland Toys for sending these over to give you guys this fresh look. Look for this guy starting around August 1st, only at Walmart. It's 20 bucks for the big ones, 10 bucks for the little ones. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I love that they did this. My favorite thing ever, a little spawn action. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.